Hey Brady, here's the video that I told you about. Hopefully it kind of shows you how the penny war money counting needs to work. Again, you can do this all yourself if you think you'll have enough time at plan time, if there's not much money to count, or you can involve the students in the first Explo class, um, first eighth grade Explo class that is. Okay, so pretty much um, students, different students will bring these buckets at the first bell. I would use a dry erase marker and write eighth, seventh, and sixth on the table. That's what I've been doing, so they organize them very nicely. Um, the slips will not be in them. That's something that I do later on. I'll talk about that in a second. So when they um, bring the buckets, make sure you have them for all six advisories. If some of them forgot to bring them back, then just send a volunteer from your first sixth grade class to go collect the buckets. Even if they're empty, they still bring them back. We count every bucket every day regardless of what's in it. So then when you get free time like plan time or while the kids are working in another class, I left a whole bunch of these slips or the counting slips. All right, so each bucket gets a slip and um, it seems like ridiculous to have to do this, but I learned this last year. So for the slips that you put into the silver buckets, go ahead and put an X for penny total. Otherwise they might write it in the wrong place and everything gets confused. Then for the penny buckets, put an X in the silver total. Otherwise they'll write their penny total in the silver total slot and then everything gets confused and we can't figure it out. So anyway, each one get a slip, gets a slip. And then you can go ahead and count it yourself if you want to. So Washburn, there's nothing in there. You just write teacher name, date, and then zero, and that goes into a pile to use later. Or you can let the kids um, take that first eighth grade expo. They've done this once. They can take in pairs, one bucket at a time. Don't give them more than one because they'll mix the money up. They can count it, write the teacher name, write the date, and it was um, Clara Novotny and Callie, Callie McCleary. McCreary. Um, they were the two that can do the next part if you end up letting kids help. So then the buckets get dumped. Whoops, hold on. Okay, anyway, in the cabinet, by the door, um, bottom shelf, there is the money bucket. That's where we're gonna dump all the money after it's been counted. So again, that first eighth grade expo has done this once. Um, they will bring, after they count it, they bring their bucket back, they dump whatever money into the common collection, and they give the slip to Callie or Clara. Callie and Clara, they make sure that they check to make sure the teacher name is actually written on it um, and the date. And then the empty bucket goes to the door. And that just stays there to be delivered again in the morning. Okay, so then after all the slips have been collected, again, those two girls have done this before, or you can do it during plan time if there's not much to count. Then you have to do the totals. Okay, something just came up, um, kind of an anomaly that I wanted to address. So I was just counting Miss Holiday's. So her silver bucket had a quarter in it. Boom. Put the quarter into the common collection, and then that will go by the door to be returned. But then I dumped out Miss Holiday's penny bucket, and we notice there is a dime in the penny bucket. So unfortunately, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Tell the kids to count the pennies. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Sorry. So her penny total is ten cents. Okay. That gets turned into Clara. But then we need to find the holiday silver total slip, and that dime needs to be added to that. So instead of just the original twenty-five cents, she has thirty-five cents. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now for actually doing the totals that will get posted at the end of the day. So holiday um, yesterday ended up with negative 125 points because they had no pennies and they had $1.25 in silver. So today I'm going to take my slips. She's got 35 cents for silver. And she had 10 cents for pennies. All right, and then the daily total. So you take the pennies minus the silver because penny is positive, silver is negative. So her daily total is actually negative 25. Then you combine that with the previous day's total. So she is actually at negative 150. And that is what will go on the spreadsheet. Here, holiday. So even though she went up a little with some pennies, she came, ended up down because she had more silver. So she's at negative 150. Okay, she is done. Keep these slips for me.
Um, we'll staple those together and we just keep them as a record. And then after all of these are totaled, you'll enter all of them into the spreadsheet. There's sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, then at about 2.30, um, go ahead and get the link to the spreadsheet and email it out to all staff. Thank you, you are awesome, goodbye.